what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 6 of the fifa 22 player career mode we are using conrad zan as the draw and he got a makeover well not really a makeover he just has a different hairstyle now his hair kind of grew out because that's what it looks like from the compared to the previous one and he has a little bit of a mustache coming out now i know that it's sudden but it's supposed to be like a gradual thing and i just figured out that he could just leave his hair to grow out and you know it's like this now so before i go into the video i just want to say a couple things like i read in the comment section that some that you want me to be uploading this particular series on a daily and i actually can't do that because i'm doing like a another series that's the create a club career mode and I'm like alternating between this one and that one so I can't really like do this one daily if that one finishes because I feel like it's going to finish before this one when that one finishes then I can start focusing on Conrad Zan and I'll be uploading it daily I think because like am I able to still like bring up a new series when that one is done because I want to be doing like two series at a time so he yeah, has that another thing before I start is that I actually schedule my videos because I will be resuming school my final year in about a month and i want to schedule as much videos as i can so there's actually going to be kind of a delay in the um in me replying the comments because i have already got like three or four videos ahead before i i can now like implement what i see in the comment section in the video so i just wanted to clear that up so that you know it won't look like i'm not doing what you guys want me to do or something like that actually i'm seeing it kind of late so now for the actual reason we are here in two days we'll be crossing into january of 2022 and we'll be in a new team now let's see how that is going to be like yep we see the liga portugal ball and i'm just going to start with the training straight up oh wait yeah, SE Braga fans are excited by Zan Arrival. Let's see what they actually write about us here. Today sees the arrival of Conrad Zan at the SE Braga training ground after a move that is sure to stir up excitement. The 70 year old is expected to strengthen the forward spot and was praised by Carlos Carvajal for his ability as soon as I saw this lad play. I knew I wanted him for our team, said an exuberant SC Braga manager. Keep an eye on him and you will soon see why. Well, I mean, this is definitely not what the Borussia Dortmund manager saw in me. So, I mean, I know that it's because I wasn't training that that happened. But now I know. And, well, let's see which team I move to after SC Braga because I really do not want to stay in this team for more than one season, to be honest. Now we are in SC Braga. We start afresh. We are still in the sub position. Let's see what we are going to do in this team. So we just finished training and we just got to level 11. Now we have four skill points to spend. Should I use this on a skill move? That would be rather dumb. I still have a lot of things to do. Like my finishing, I really need to improve on that. And where exactly is finishing at? Okay. Finishing is nowhere to be found oh there you go and this is seven points oh this works on finishing so now our finishing is on 80 we have two skill points left uh which one should i use heading accuracy i'm not really all for heading right now i will do that later on so i think our finishing on 80 should be good and this will actually take it to 83 so let's just do that for now okay that's what we spend our skills on i don't know why it took our position back to center forward but now we are back to being a striker our, our original position is actually a right winger but because Dortmund didn't have like wingers so i was playing striker in that team so i haven't seen the formation of this one if i see it and i um, at the striker position, then, sorry, 
and there are wingers in the squad, then I will just like switch to a winger after this match. And we are coming on in the 82nd minute. And we are playing the right midfielder position, which is quite annoying. Because I, I think that's a lot further back than a right winger. So um, let's see if we're able to get a debut goal or debut assist. We definitely, it, defi it definitely would be really hard to do that at that position. But let's just see what we can do. Well, I suppose it goes without saying that he'll want to impress his new employers here, Stuart. Well, absolutely, Derek. It's a start of another chapter in his career. Let's hope he settles in well and shows these fans what a good player he really is. But he's gone short with it. Cutting the ball back. Can they get in behind them? Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Breaking at pace. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Must take the lead here. Oh, it's a penalty. And what an opportunity for them, perhaps, to win it. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. Well, he went for the corner, but he's made a real mess of that. Diego Queiroz. Crossing opportunity. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Lauren Sofori. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Gustavo Asunzao. It should be! Oh, brilliant effort, but the woodwork getting in the way. Well, it's super speed. Asun Sao. Lauren Sofori. That's yeah, it. So that was the first match. We weren't able to get any of the match, of the manager's objectives, and that is really a bad start, if I was to say. Well, it was a fairly quiet debut. He played OK. He was solid enough. But I'm sure he'll have a bigger impact over the next couple of matches once he's settled in. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually going to have a bigger impact, to be honest, once I'm settled in. And uh, it's like these guys in this league do not like to score goals because, come on, what the hell was that? He missed a freaking penalty. I mean, I won them that penalty and they freaking missed it. Oh, well. Like, look at that. Why would you play it out there? we drew our first match for SC Braga and we actually did get the manager rating so that was able to get our our assets out of the reserves in this team before they come and sell us again okay so the next match is against Maritimo and I still haven't seen the um formation in this team and we played right midfielder even though it says we're a striker and I have absolutely no idea why but now we are going to be playing the striker we're coming in in the 81st minutes for our for Abel Ruiz and one of our teammates got a red card and I mean that is probably why I'm not even coming on as a right back as a right midfielder because that is the guy that got the red card so let's see if we are able to finally get our goal in this match we are bleeding 1-0 can we finally add to what we have and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from okay, both so we're going to try and score a goal in this match because we're playing a striker we're going to uh, take this one for enhancements with successful dribbles and uh, let's see what we can do in this match. Pelagio are getting it forward but they need an equaliser. Pedro Pelagio. This could level it. A tremendous block. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? It didn't happen for them. Bruno Jadas. 
making sure nothing untoward happened. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Vitor Tormena. And the danger clear. And that offside decision. Pustrati. Dangerous looking attack. Must be. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. One minute remaining. Playing with purpose and control. And space for him to cut in. Well, he failed to deliver that time. <laughs> Pressing high, and they have the ball again. The referee okay, blows so the full time I, I in terms of the victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. We yes, Derek, sometimes for. it takes a while I to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. That goal was weird. Like, they all just left him there. Like, at that moment, I was thinking if I should come back and defend. But then I was thinking what would be the counter-attack. He team is my speed. So that's why I didn't go for that guy. Even though I still wouldn't have gotten to him in time before he made that pass. Still, we were able to get two, I think, out of the three objectives that the manager laid out for us. Yes, we got two out of the three objectives and now we are around the middle area of the sub-level. And let's see if we can get it to the starting level real quick. I see that this is a match at the top of the table, second versus third. If you win, I think we'll be a, an inch closer to them. I think one point or two points cl closer to them. And I think I finally figured out what this guy's formation is. It's 4-4-2. Four, four, That's why they have two strikers and two um, extreme like ex extreme end midfielders. The left midfielder and the right midfielder. So um, let's see if we can get another goal. Sorry. <clears throat> let's see if we can get another goal in this match. All right, so we're bench. coming on. Their yeah, away kit is actually pretty nice. Anyways, our match objectives are a rating of 7.0. Conversion rate of at least 50%. And... Well, he'll take two shots on target. So what? I guess that these two go together. So I'm just going to enhance this one. And I think I made a mistake there. So the corner played into the box. And collected corner. Over it comes. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, that was so close, wasn't it? Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. He succeeds in clearing it. Got to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And possibilities here. Able to get a body in the way. Oh, surely! Well, we really have to call a chance, you've got to say. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Perfectly positioned to take it away. This looks promising. Oh, excellent diving stop. 
Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? And played short. And good work to deny the chance. Although well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And the snuffing out of the cross there. All right, there's only so much that I can do for this team, to be honest. Like, it's like they don't want to win. I, don't, I mean, I hardly even have any footage to post of this match because they keep giving up, giving up the ball in weird areas, to be honest. And like, their strikers are just weird, to be honest. So, um, I guess it's just because I guess it's just because uh, I'm coming from a team where Haaland was the striker and. Uh, there were a lot of good players in that team though, so time it was only the shot on target objective that I was able to get. We did lose the match. And this is <laughs> I think I've 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 lost all objectives before in Dortmund in the beginning stages. But there we are, just <sighs> I mean we need to score goals in order to stay up in the starting eleven and well it's just really hard to do that in this team because I mean, we're not even getting the kind of service that we were getting in Dortmund. That that really high class service service. Now I know that the Dortmund guys were actually really good compared to this team. But this was the best chance that I had. I had to work that opportunity out for myself and well the keeper saved it. So Alright, so next up is the match against more more very Okay, I'm not able to try and pronounce that. Team, but we're coming in for Abel Ruiz in the 62nd minute. I think what I actually figured out was true that the higher you are up the sub ratings is how early you enter into the match. So I think we can score like two goals at this time if everything goes well. But I mean, again, it's not as good as Dortmund. So I just have to try and make out an opportunity for myself or do something. All right. So what are our objectives for this match? We are supposed to get a 7.0 rating dribble success rate of 35% and 4 shots on target. I'm going to enhance the dribble one and let's see how well we do in this match. Corner kick played in. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And over comes the corner. And still dangerous. Felipe Pires. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Swatch. Fabio Pacheco. Chance to finish! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. In position here to protect the ball. Fran Sergio. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. And five minutes to go. And he's given it away. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And oh God, I, 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 I absolutely hate this thing. I'm actually going to show you guys everything that happened in this match because I am fucking annoyed. Like, why, why the hell did this thing just happen? Like, I got zero service, and the time that I got the ball, I had to do everything for myself. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. I don't even know why we're happy, because we didn't get any of the objectives. Okay, maybe we got the, uh, maybe we got the, the, we got just one, but we did not have any shot on target because of these people. Like, they are 
freaking useless. Oh my god. Like, how the hell are you leading a team 3 0? How the hell are you leading a team 3 0? And then they are pressing you for like the entire freaking match. Like, what the hell is that? Jesus, look at how low my this thing just went. I am honestly really annoyed right now. I'm, I'm honestly really annoyed because this is not just the worst team for me to come to. Like, it's the fucking worst team for me to come to. Next up is a match against Victoria FC. And we're coming in the 83rd minute because um, manager rating is pretty low. <sighs> to be honest, this is just the worst club right now. I'm, I'm actually really pissed at the kind of things they do. How they foolishly give the ball away. It's so annoying. It is so annoying. Let's just hope we can get something out of this match. Because this is just the... This is too much without a goal now for me. That's the highest I've ever gone without a goal. Is it two or one? I'm not sure, but it's, it's 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 just really annoying, and there's really nothing I can do about it because I cannot just move in this game because of these players. Like, what the fuck are they? To be honest, this was a game at rating of seven point zero score at least one goal from outside the box and have a dribble success rate of thirty five. The dribble one is what I am going to enhance and let's just see what we can do in this match please you guys just just don't fuck up he's here takes the shot well closed down straight away this looks promising can he put it away and a goal Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? And he could really get at the opposition. Can't miss, surely. Oh, excellent in time it is. And he's fired over the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And room now out on the flank. And he might be through here. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Kermenchik. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Zan. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And still an opportunity. Brilliantly blocked. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. Just the one minute left in normal time here. And so the referee. Okay, so at least we're able to get an assist this match, but. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is. Like, I am just honestly really annoyed. It's just one more match for any episode. So, guys, I don't even know how, like, they are up here on the in the league when they play like this. I mean, they literally have zero possession in every match. Like, they're always the ones chasing the ball. They never have the freaking ball. I never have any chances. The chances I had, for some reason, for some reason I flunked them because I don't even know. Stupid, overpowered people, 22 keepers. But as you can see, I just leveled up and I have four new new skill points. So I'm just going to save those up for later. Right now, right now, what I want to focus on is a. I have to inform you that you are not part of my plans going forward here at SC Braga. I have listed you for transfer and I will let you know as and when I have accepted an offer for you. We thank you for your time here. Wish you well in the future. What the fuck? It's like it's like it's my fault. Meanwhile, your team is fucking shit, bro. Your team is literal shit and you are blaming me for it. Like 
I'm a freaking striker. Do you want me to be running around the whole pitch defending the ball and doing everything? Like, come on. Like, this. I just hope a sensible club actually offers for him because if they don't, sorry, if they do, I'm out of this club, to be honest. I, I am actually, I'm actually fed up because for some reason we have gone past January. Okay, we have gone past January. So that means at the end of this season, I'll be moving on to another club. I absolutely hope so because I am done. I am done with this team. If I can actually just skip matches and uh, just work on myself in the team, I will be fine. But I cannot play a match in this team without being absolutely annoyed. We are still fourth in the league. If we win this match, we have a chance to go to second depending on the um goal goal difference so let's just try let's just try and do well in this match just for the sake of it so that at least we can we can do something in this club because we we play like five matches now and we've only scored one goal like how the fuck does that ever happen where conrad zan for god's sake both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Alright, so like this is like my final chance for the manager. Although he has already put me on the chance on the lease. So this is to complete three passes with the opponent's half. This is the easiest. So I'm just going to enhance that. Hopefully we can get up to a 7.0 rating in this match. Well, they still have designs on the win. Must take the lead here, and they do, and with so little time left, that will surely be decisive, astonishing drama. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. They look as though they want to make this move count. Zan. Can he find the net? And blocked for now. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And they're making a change. And a good-looking ball. It might still be problematic. Well, relying on their goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. I, I, I honestly don't know why this guy just left that ball that just passed to him. But, I mean, we're able to get, like, I think about two out of the three objectives and we got a goal, so... <sighs> This happens to be the worst team for my player to just be in right now because they literally do not do anything. They literally don't do anything. But of course, I get the amount of the match I would. I, I honestly don't even want it because I'm really annoyed. But I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that we were able to get the goal in the last game for this match. Sorry, in the last game for this episode so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video <laughs> i'm certainly really frustrated but if you did enjoy this video if you saw conrad zahn finally go through a tough patch before he finally broke through with a goal make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace